This is your statewide newscast. Arkansas Today. We begin with breaking news at this hour. A homicide investigation is underway in northwest Arkansas after a body found in Crawford County. Good afternoon. I am Aaron Nolan. The sheriff's office says they found what is believed to be a grave site near Highway 59 and Natural Dam Road. We're told they have not started digging. Arkansas Today is working. We're trying to get more information. More information. We will bring it to you. Also making headlines, more breaking news. We're updating you to a story we've been following. The two teens arrested in connection to the kidnapping and death of a Conway, Conway woman have now been charged with capital murder. 16-year-old Robert Lee Smith and 18 are both being charged as adults. They also face kidnapping and theft of property charges. Authorities believe they are responsible for kidnapping 71-year-old Evlia Fragstein outside a shopping center, then murdering her and dumping her body along a road in Jefferson County. Her car was found burned and abandoned in Pine Bluff Tuesday morning. Smith and Mackerel remain in the Faulkner County Detention Center. Two 18-year-olds have been charged with capital murder in the death of a 46-year-old woman in central Arkansas. Martillo Nash and Zarek Oliver were arrested over what may have been a robbery gone wrong. Uh, Police say Regina Jackson died at the scene, but with the help of witnesses, police were able to track down the suspect's car. Uh, within, uh, I think it was 10 or 15 minutes of that information going out, state police was able to identify the, uh, the vehicle. You never expect for something like that to hit close to home. And that right there, that was too close to home. This is the first homicide investigation in Sherwood in nearly a year. The last one, September of 2017. Federal prosecutors are stepping up efforts to keep violent criminals and repeat offenders off the streets. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the state's Eastern District says the number of indictments on gun-related charges for repeat offenders has doubled. They've been working with local law enforcement to identify problematic people. We can't control what somebody does to somebody else, but we can control how we respond to it. I want it to cost them something, and if it costs them time, that's something. Between local jurisdiction and the federal government, whichever one can get the longer sentence is, gonna who, is who will take the case. A Central Arkansas woman sentenced to life in prison before she was old enough to vote is a free woman this afternoon. Investigators say 16-year-old Laquanda Jacobs shot and killed her classmate, 17-year-old Kevin Gaddy. This was in 1992. Jacobs was convicted of capital murder in 93, but was retried after the U.S. Supreme Court ruled it's unconstitutional to sentence a teen to life without parole. Jacobs was resentenced to time served. She's 43 years old now. She says she's still innocent. I'm hoping to be a success story and, you know, giving other people hope and letting them know that um, being in prison doesn't define me and who I am. Jacobs and her attorney plan to ask the governor to have that conviction pardoned. The Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office says it will object that, adding prosecutors are disappointed Jacobs was released. The Arkansas Department of Correction has temporarily suspended its search for a controversial lethal drug used in executions. They called off the search after Arkansas Supreme Court ruled earlier this year ADC would have to reveal who the drug manufacturer is. The department is working on changing the the law which would allow them to keep the manufacturer's identity private. A leisurely car ride down some of Arkansas's highways can make you do a double take. That's because some advertisers are taking this approach to marketing, putting dummies on billboards. It does get your attention, but it's also led to a fair share of 911 calls. Caitlin Reardon has this story, and if it's a good advertising or simply a bad idea. They stand out. Well, it caught my attention. For sure. There's no question about it. They certainly attract attention. And according to advertising expert Wayne Cox, that's exactly what they're meant to do. They have a very short time span with a billboard, and what you want to do is catch their eye. Cox says the mannequins that you see on billboards sprinkled throughout central Arkansas have been there for years and have been effective. Advertisers want you to notice the person sitting atop the sign. The thing that we do is we try to change the clothing out to match the season. A tactic some say fooled them into thinking it was a real person. I thought it was crazy. Teens crawled up there on top of the billboards. Some people become so concerned they even call 911. Faulkner County says they get calls about once a week from people thinking there's a person on top of a billboard. 
Lieutenant Chris Amling with Pulaski County Sheriff's Office says it technically qualifies as distracted driving, especially when people are paying prolonged attention to something away from the road, like a person on a billboard. And anytime you take your eyes off the road, that's a danger. He says if people are calling 911, dispatch can't just assume it's a mannequin. You don't ever know if someone were to call in and say that somebody was, you know, threatening to jump or something, we would definitely want to take that as serious as possible. Cox says he doesn't think there's a downside to the advertising ploy. In fact, he calls it effective. I think they notice the sign because obviously we do get the feedback. So the question remains, is it good advertising or a bad idea? I say it's a bad idea because I still don't know what none of the billboards that have them on there, I still have not a clue what they're advertising. I could see where people would kind of freak out or it would distract them maybe to see if it was a real person, but overall, I guess it does, it's effective. No matter what you believe, we can all agree they're definitely eye-catching. Always look up there and look for the little people. Caitlin, thanks. Law enforcement says the best advice, use common sense. If you see something that looks like a mannequin or a cardboard cutout, it's probably not something they need to know about. Keep that emergency line clean. That's news from around the state of Arkansas. Sports coming up. SEC Media Days continues. We catch up with the man representing Arkansas at this conference, Kevin Trainer.